Greetings, all of you. Really good tonight here, and we are back after a short hiatus due to a back injury. Excellent work, me, from existing, <laughs> having an old back. But yes, um, back today we're doing another review at long last, and we're actually reviewing the Pharaoh Concepts little uh, back panel. The earlier version. Yes, they have a newer one that works exclusively with the uh, Pharaoh plate carrier because of the way the zipper is set up. But, uh, yeah, there's a bit of a zipper going on there. And you might be asking yourself what that's all about. That's pretty crazy. We're going to be talking about that momentarily. There's a lot of things to like about this um, assault panel. Uh, particularly compared to the um, Grey Ghost Gear we reviewed earlier. The Grey Ghost Gear is actually a more recent acquisition that I uh, wanted to test out and take a good look at. It's not bad, because the uh, zippers are already built on and it does a bunch of cool things. But this one does a bunch of cool other things that we're going to be talking about, more old school of a style. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get to it. Step one, we're going to get this, uh, this nonsense off. There we go, yeah. Hey, let me rebuckle that because this is just going to be flapping around like it's crazy if I don't. Come on, yeah. All right, so as you can see here, we're going to be pulling it off, don't worry. We've got it zippered on in using the uh, adapters from the, uh, what you might call it, the Grey Ghost Gear, made the other pack, makes a bunch of zipper adapters. They come in a set. Now that set's useful if you're running an old LBT plate carrier or something that doesn't have zippers. And you want to use like cry packs or something crazy. It makes it an easy way to attach it to your pack. However, it also comes with the uh, other th part of the set, so you can actually attach zippers to older packs, albeit not perfect, and we'll be discussing that momentarily. First, let's uh, pop our guy free here. Well, by pop our guy free, I mean there's going to be many, many steps involved. And, uh, no, it's not too bad. Pop those guys out, pop this one here. Yeah, there we go. And also we got a cool patch underneath all that. So, what do we got going on here? So, this is the Faro Concepts little attachment, or, uh, yeah, Faro Concepts made in Canada. It's got these cool little, um, was it the Hypalon? Not necessarily Helium Whisper, but in that same vein sort of material going on here. Got that cool rubbery feel to it. And these would normally just uh, weave in through the webbing on your play carrier you'd be good to go. However, it is a pain. It takes a lot of time to web those. So we got the zipper adapters here that I came with the uh, gray, that I got with off of gray ghost gear. And these allow us to effectively zip it to our play carrier. However, this one on the uh, right side is the only one properly set up because they don't send opposing sides. They're all made exactly identical. So, well, it's attaching the one side to the play carrier is easy. Attaching anything to packs that you want to update to use with the play carrier means one of these is going to be inside out. So when you actually attach this, you got your play carrier here, you zip this one in place, flop that over, slot, uh, slot these guys into place, so your uh, top piece is in place, then you zip down the last one on the side. So it's an extra step, lets you fold it over. Not a huge deal. And it works! So, if you're looking for a way to still use these, like I like to do, then that's the easiest way to get that done. Otherwise, you gotta weave it in place each and every time, and then you gotta set these guys up. These are neat. They uh, fold, put that piece in originally, and then you just slide it through so it folds over on top of itself, so it holds this up and keeps everything in place. Now, as opposed to the uh, SMC plate carrier, this top part has significantly less Velcro. So this is very easy to open and get access to if you have your hydration in there. However, it does not have the uh, cool dropout bottom. So whatever you can fit in there is what you can fit in there. And if you need to make space for uh, longer bolt cutters or charges or anything, unfortunately this isn't going to be able to do that. Oh yeah, and then you got uh, this little piece of uh, lat Velcro here and that's used for mounting any sort of like hydration bladder or whatnot. You just piece that, put that piece, uh, the little hose to the side here where there's no Velcro, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now the key selling point for this assault panel over the others and what makes Faro Conception or Faro Concept so interesting is their use of these uh, little elastic bungees mixed in with this uh, little uh, was it the uh, webbing loop uh, adapter sort of thing buckle whatever you want to call it. And that's just mounted on in there on some elastic. It gives you a relatively small pocket, but that pocket is perfectly sized for flashbangs. 
which is the only thing you really want to put in here is flashbangs. So you put your flashbangs in there. This is all set up. The back here is also um, Velcro, so you can adjust the uh, ultimate size of these. And because it's just simple shock cord, it can easily be replaced, refitted, repurposed, fixed up, etc. So those go on there. You put your little flashbang in there. You mount this to the guy in front of you because you're not going to be able to reach your own flashbangs, though, though many have tried. And there is a very ghetto solution we'll talk about <laughs> in regards to that. You get to the door, guy in front of you is like, oh yeah, I'm going to breach here, you okay, yeah, 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 we're going to scare these guys good, they're going to they're gonna poop themselves. Yeah. Then uh, you grab this little tab here, and as you'll notice, it makes practically no noise, especially compared to the Velcro, which can potentially give away your position depending on uh, how quiet it is ultimately. So these little tabs are absolutely fantastic and arguably one of the uh, best things I've ever seen in my life. When they're talking about things that match up with sliced bread, this is uh, something that comes to mind. So yeah, that's just a really cool tab, really simple. And you can uh, cut away the extra, set it up however. And yeah, you got all your little uh, flashbangs in there, ready to go. You're ready to go, cause some havoc and mayhem and do some good stuff. The zipper uses their cool little, um, was it a plastic tabule thing that they like to use on stuff? like their uh, slingsters and whatnot. This little tab's pretty basic, works really well. I think it's the same one they use on the uh, little um, dangler too, so. This just opens up from the front. It doesn't do the cr cool cry thing, but that also means your contents aren't gonna spill out if you uh, have them packed up to the brim or anything crazy going on. You can still fit the same amount of stuff. It's not gonna be as easy to get out, but it's still gonna be incredibly easy, so. You know, uh, dress accordingly, <laughs> so. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's a lot simpler than the um, SMC assault panel from Grey Ghost Gear, but we've modernized it. Which is a fancy word for saying I just threw zippers on there. And uh, it can still work pretty well now in modern days. And it doesn't take nearly as much time. It went from taking, uh, was it like three minutes to attaching to the plate carrier to like a minute? So. If you really like simplicity or you like taking putting stuff on and off your back. The only complaint I've seen a few people do is like say, oh, it doesn't have Velcro up here to put my cool morale patches on. But uh, I think their newer one actually does. So, old tech, yeah. But yeah, it does everything you want it to. I really love these bands. It's just such a cool idea. So yeah, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, Canada. Or, oh man, native. Anyway, yeah, blame Canada. That's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay shovelers, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.